Hi, this is Jackie. Hi, this is Diana. <laughs> and you're listening to Home Bodies Only, where we welcome all bodies to join us as we break down and dissect HBO Max series. And we are talking about, and just like that, season two, episode nine, There Goes the Neighborhood. Oh. So if you're loyal fans of us, I pre- we appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks this for episode tuning in aired, um, Yeah, this episode aired a few weeks ago. Hopefully, maybe you'll learn something that you haven't already read on the internet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So my recap is from the same place it was last, same place. Same website it was last episode. It is called WWD.com. No idea. What would... No, we need another D. I just what think Diana of WD40. <laughs> yeah, what would Diana do? There you go. But it I has like to that. be, what would DD? So WWDD, oh. what would Diana do? Okay, anyway, I'm going to get stuck on it. Okay. The writer is the same person as last time, Christopher with a K, Fraser. All right. I like that this person divides it up by character. Starts off, he puts, or she, I don't know, they put, Carrie finally decides to let go of her apartment, and Charlotte and Miranda are trying to figure out if their kids are starting a relationship with each other. So, says that this episode saw Carrie's attempt to say goodbye to her famous apartment fans have known for so long, Brady and Lily potentially entering a budding relationship, and Lisa making surprise a, a surprise announcement that left Herbert almost speechless. Okay. Mm. Carrie. All right. So, yeah. Carrie and Aiden meet up at Che's apartment, and... Aiden is chatting too much, you know, with the people who work in the building, which he thinks is a good thing because he also is a good tipper. But turns out that <laughs> they get a, a a notice. People banging on the door <laughs> at night. Like, what time is yeah. it? I don't know if that would. Exactly. I don't know. Um, maybe. So the tenant has exceeded the building's 30-day guest policy. And um, Carrie does suggest going to her apartment. And he says no. So then uh, they just go to Che. After Che confronts Ter- Terry, Carrie, <laughs> Aiden refuses to set foot in her apartment. Carrie ends up telling Seema she's ready to sell her apartment and needs somewhere with more space. All right, let's just, we didn't talk about the, the kitten. Che had a kitten mm. there, just to let mm. you know. And I, I don't know, maybe this kitten will show up again. I know you can't have mm. cats. You're allergic to cats. Um, yeah. I did listen to the writer's room episode about this and they were saying that with the kittens, it was really hard because they filmed the scene with the kitten by itself before they did the one with the box of them and the kittens were growing. They had to have like two different litters of kittens. Like, Oh, they were like, check it in on the kittens. How much, how much bigger (laughs) like stuff you don't think about, you know? Well, yeah, it's anyway. like, it's like the, um, it's like the liquids in the glasses, right? Like the, right. you know, they're checking yeah. in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Carrie gets a call during an apartment viewing with, um, you know, Charlotte and Miranda from Aiden's ex-wife, Kathy, who says she wants to meet for coffee when she's in town. Kathy asks Carrie not to include her boys in her books. And she writes for, from such personal experiences and asks her not to hurt Aiden again. It's not really mm. an ask. I don't think she asked her. <laughs> she kind of said it. Miranda. It's more rhetorical. Miranda opens the episode in a beautiful beige coat paired with a beige and white floral print dress. Okay. We're not doing fashion yet, so calm down. I shouldn't be reading this part. When they go <laughs> to see Carrie's... Well, wait. They don't say how she's trying to get Brady to go to this thing in Costa Rica and, like, take classes mm. and surf. And she's, like, trying anything to get him to go to school. I'd be like, mm-hmm. okay. I'll do it. Um yep where are we here oh they just go into what she wears okay charlotte charlotte convinces lily to talk to brady about college at miranda's behest what a word after it seems like lily and brady slept together charlotte has an ex- existential crisis wondering what would happen if they started dating yeah <laughs> charlotte <laughs> opens the episode oh no they're talking about her clothes again okay mm. right is there anything else i feel like I, sh- I should have looked through this better i thought i did but you talk a lot about fashion Seema. Seema is trying to get a home for her new client, Robbie. Robbie starts making out with her and they end up getting physically intimate. 
of that apartment. Um, Seema takes Ravi to dinner with Carrie and Aiden, and she starts having a crisis over her attraction to Ravi. And also Aiden knows who Ravi is because he did Kung Kapow. What is it again? Whatever Something movie or... Kapow. Yeah. Something Kapow. Um, Lisa, LTW, gets an offer from PBS to make her documentary into a series, she, and she falls asleep at the computer from overworking. She falls asleep again, getting ready for Herbert's campaign fundraiser, causing another crisis. Basically, she reveals that she is pregnant. Mm-hmm. I, I think I read she's supposed to be like 41. Cause like, oh, okay. I mean, I knew she was younger than them, but mm-hmm. I didn't know what age she was supposed to be. Okay. Naya. I put in Naya, I think. Wait, which part did I put in? I thought I put in about, because I don't think they had Naya in there. Having fun being single and the freedom of no attachments, but then sees the Instagram post of her ex with Heidi with the hat. Is pregnant. Yeah. Che, I just have, tries to give Carrie a kitten and also starts writing stand-up motivated by Oh, no, I didn't write this part. Flir- a flirty fan, because I would never have written that. Mm-hmm. So there it comes. Oh, I did get... Oh, wait a minute. I did somehow get some stuff from New York Times. <laughs> because oh. they also never mentioned anything about Anthony in this recap. So this is Ali Tracta, or Tracta. Anthony just can't seem to relax and embrace this relationship. It isn't until Anthony confronts Giuseppe about what he believes is an obvious scheme to get a green card. That he finds out Giuseppe, mm-hmm. this was the part that I texted you about, already has dual citizenship oh. because his mom is from. That's right. Buffalo. Buffalo. Did I you get my text? Did you I don't be- oh, yeah, I but just, then I texted I saw- you, let's that go Buffalo. Get- with the- yeah, that didn't help me because I think it was quite a oh. bit after I texted you. I was like, I don't, I think, did she send this to me by mistake? <laughs> no, I said it to you as if. As in, like, hey, I, I, I watched it. Now I know. Oh, I did not. I was like, I don't understand. I was wondering why you ignored it. I didn't. I was just I like, you. I didn't know how to respond That's to it. Weird. So basically, how how af- much after did I tell you? Did you text me that? Oh, she texted Who me knows? a meme of a little girl wearing, like, a, bu- a buffalo fan. And they were going, mm-hmm. and like, shaking a pom-pom or something. And said, let's go. And I was like, What? <laughs> Yeah, that was my way of telling you that I mm. watched. Clearly not. Love. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what, what I was doing. We're usually more point. in sync. Ooh, more in- we got to go back to work. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he has dual citizenship. He doesn't need a green card. Um, so they end up getting together at the, uh, the apartment. So they hook up. <laughs> At the party Mm -hmm. in Lily and Rock's room, um, Mm. when they think when Charlotte and Miranda actually thinks it's um, Lily and Brady. Yeah. Um. Oh. Blah blah blah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. Because this person also did talk. Allie did talk about Naya, but I already wrote mine in there. So let's go. All right. Let's go to fashion because. I got very excited because of something that I found. Okay. okay. I loved Miranda's I call shirt dress in the mm-hmm. first scene. I think we see her in, maybe, when she's walking with Brady. Oh, now I can't get to that page. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, darn it. Wow, I, ha- I even had the... Abst- okay. It says Darcy abstract floral shirt dress. So there you go. <laughs> oh, I got people um next thing i loved was carrie's jumpsuit at (laughs) the party yeah at the end of um toward the end of the show episode and um i have to tell you this is this is this was my like treasure golden nugget that i found so I look it up. I find it on Shop Your TV, and it says that the company is, or brand, it says Converted Closet. So I was like, well, what is this? Hmm. So I go to Converted Closet. I find the woman on Instagram. Oh, now I'm going to go to the real. So her Instagram page is called Converted Closet. She also has a website called Converted Closet. She converts 
stuff like she changes stuff in her like already what's in your closet she she'll change it she also this though i think was vintage i think and she bought it so you can't get this jumpsuit um no um let me see if i just where am i here with this let me just see okay oh no all right um so she took this from a dress to a jumpsuit and mm. she really loved what Carrie ended up wearing as the belt. There's a picture of her where you can see it. That's the yep. woman. Her name, name's Kate. Oh, I forgot. Or Katie something. I think she's British. And she loved that. That's why she like bought the dress because she loved that belt mm -hmm. on it. And she had it tied mm -hmm. around her neck. Um, but Carrie wore it around her waist. And I was like, I'm in love with this. Like, I love this woman. I wish I could do these things. I was telling my husband, he's like, well, you know, it's not rocket science to learn to sew. I was like, Oh, here yeah. we go. What? Not like I love that. No, I wish I could do all that. Yeah, and she yeah. has other stuff coming up that's going to be, I think, in possibly the next episode or the last one because I saw another mm. post from her, and it's this big jacket thing. I don't. I'm just like, I love her. Like, if I could, imagine you could take stuff out of your closet and change it into something. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. I also loved her purse, Carrie's purse at the. This is also a bad picture because it's from my computer uh, screen. Mm -hmm. But this purse, it's like shiny. It looks kind of 70s Barbie-ish. 70s Barbie. Yeah. Like the Barbie couch. Yeah. Like the 70s. Um, and I tried to, I went on Shop Your TV and I put up the, I put up that, I put up that purse. I put up, no, I didn't put up the jumpsuit. Um, and they couldn't find it. The the one um, at administrator or whatever admin on the uh, Facebook page said that they're doing a they did a lot of vintage this season and mm -hmm, so you can't mm -hmm. get it um then, yeah yeah I did also like LTW's purse so that was cute yeah I think she, it's turquoise um it's JW Anderson it's a thousand fifty dollars <laughs> come on yeah whatever fun little pop of color you know for thousand fifty dollars yeah, yeah. yeah um let me think. But I also, why didn't I put this there? I also had liked, I thought that Miranda's purse was pretty cool. Um, when she goes to see Carrie's apartment, it had, I thought I had the picture here. That's so weird. Because I, I put it on Shop Your TV, so I don't know why I didn't put it in my notes. It was like a, cl a clutch, right? Because it didn't have a big strap around it, but it had a strap behind it. So she, but it was big. It was over a foot, mm -hmm. like long. and um. She that's how she held it. Like she slipped her hand through it. And that yeah. was another one that I think was um possibly vintage. Let me just I'm probably not gonna be able to find this now. I thought I had put it in there, but it was like a beige tan color. Oh, there it is. That's me. <laughs> yep, there I am. <laughs> I'm like, there it is. Okay. Oh, because they did post it on in just like that um, uh, costumes. And it's Lanvin, Lanvin, L-A-N-V-I-N. So maybe it's not vintage. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for fashion. What did you have? I had um, Seema's jacket. And then I wrote, actually, the dress, too, when she was, I think, showing the apartment. Mm-hmm. It, I think that's the outfit. I really like that. And then I also loved Miranda's earrings. They caught my eye when she was walking in the street with Brady. Oh. For some reason, I was really digging her earrings. I have no idea what, I don't remember what they look like, but they were really, really special. Okay. And that's all I had for fashion this time. Oh. Um, yeah. I could probably find They these. were like dangly things. Yeah. Um, that whole outfit, like, she, I just loved her look. Yeah. When she was walking yeah, with Brady. Yeah, she looked really polished. Like, yes. Just totally. the lighter color on her. I don't It just looked... Excuse me. Really good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pull that up. All right. Uh, let's see. I can relate. <laughs> Carrie reading library books when Aiden shows up because mm -hmm. I just read a library book. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another one that I'm partway through. I like to take out library. I, I do buy books, but only more like the type that you'll go back to, like a reference, like right. a nonfiction. Mm -hmm. I buy more books for my son. I think we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. here. 
Okay, I can relate to the Chipotle line um, when they when Miranda Literally and Charlotte. That on mine. <laughs> I said, but in ours, really? there'd be no chips. There'd be no chips. Never. You'd get there. You'd get there to pick up yep. your mobile order, and they'd be like, "No, no chips." Sorry, actually, yeah, like a lot of, a lot of I haven't been there in months because they me made neither, me so angry. Because it kept happening. Uh, yep, we haven't talked about that, but very similar experiences, and we stopped going since yeah. I, I can't and remember. And it stinks May, because maybe. It's, it's really good. It was convenient. And, yeah. Yep. And it was and great for like a quick food. And healthier. You can get healthier yeah. stuff. Very fresh. Yeah. Basically, I, the last time I went there, they charged me for the chips. I didn't get any chips. I said something, I think, to the people there. They're like, they just weren't making chips. And you, and we saw chips there too, which was really weird. I was like, what you, and Dave, Don was like, aren't those chips? I was like, yeah, I'm so confused. I know they don't have enough health. But there, right. there was a big mess up actually at this day. I don't think any mobile orders were going through. There's something weird, but basically I didn't get any chips. They charged me for chips. I called the company mm -hmm. and spoke to somebody and he goes, oh, I'm so sorry, Amanda. I'm so sorry. So uh, we're going to give you a credit. I said, absolutely not. Uh, no, not a credit. We're going to give you a coupon for chips. Right. I said, nope, I want the credit to my credit card. I will never go back there again. I'm yeah. sick of this. And he was like, oh, oh, okay. Well, hold on. And then he gave me, he I think I, I think I messaged on the app and they put something in my app, like to compensate, like $5 or mm. something like to compensate for but it. I and I was okay I with that. I didn't want it. I didn't want it because I, I was know. like, we're not going to, I'm not going to go there at least for a very long time. And, and yeah, there's a lot of young people and I'm not going to blame the young people. But there's a lot of young people there and they're, they totally don't have enough help is the problem. They don't have enough help. No, no. And they hopefully it gets better. But when I was there and there was the mess up, like there was a sign that basically said, like, you can't, we don't have your mobile. Order. There was something wrong with that mobile orders. A guy went up and he wanted to talk to the manager. And this, you know, I hate to be ages, but this very young person came out to talk to him. And they seemed fine and nice and sweet and whatever. But there's just something with experience and age. You can take charge better. Like it just, it's, it's not fair either to them. Because it's not there. No, you fault. feel bad anyway. Exactly. Go off on a That's tangent. what I always say when I'm <laughs> if I if I have to say something, I'm like, I know this is not your fault, and I don't like. Yeah, you know what I mean, and like try to work through it. No matter if it's a phone call to somebody in customer service, and because you're taking yeah. out some of your frustration, but I'm not one to yell or anything like that. No, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty good communicator, and I can stay calm. But I do feel for them because you know, and within that, I mean, Chipotle is supposed to be like this great company, right? That like promotes education and like furthering your career yeah. and all of that but they mm -hmm. the turnaround I, I don't know if it's just our chipotle or, or, or uh, who knows but anyway yeah yeah Lots i can relate to the chipotle line we all can yeah <laughs> okay and then the last thing i could relate to was harry's line about whether to get a coat rack in the spring because not that i have ever had to deal with worrying about if i needed a coat rack the coat thing and the spring thing spring well we barely have spring here so it always annoys me when it's like spring shoes and they're like flats and i mean you i know you're different but i have to i my feet are always cold so spring yeah. here is still like 50 degrees like we don't have like or 40 like it's just and mm -hmm. then the spring coats that you wear maybe for like a day <laughs> like one day you're like i can wear my spring jacket and then it gets hot yeah. or it goes back to being freezing yeah. so i just thought totally. that was funny about do i get a coat rack okay <laughs> oh my god about you i Besides the Chipotle line, I wrote "Born in Buffalo." Let's go. I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. Except you don't have a child with an Italian accent. I don't. <laughs> I married an Italian, but they don't have accents. So, no. <laughs> okay, love. So Ryan, I don't know if you know if you ever watched Million Dollar Listing. So the mm -hmm. guy, the real estate agent who was at the apartment that Seema brought. Robbie too. He's mm -hmm. a real real estate agent in the city and he was on a reality show. Oh wait, sort I have watched show, that. Million dollar listing. And Did they Ryan, tour I forgot his last or name. was it something else? There's in million the dollar listing LA, there's million dollars. So he was okay. on million dollar listing New York. He actually awesome. sold my friend's our friend's apartment in the city when mm -hmm. he put his mm -hmm. his apartment up for sale. He had him do it. And actually like That's cool. Because I watched that show, I was like, I don't want to watch this. And to me, always whenever I would see previews and stuff for it or 
promotions, he always looked annoying. But I actually, I liked him. I liked him. Oh my God. And there's a guy, there was a guy on there called named Steve, Steve Gold. So good looking. Heartthrob. <laughs> <laughs> Modeled. Gorgeous. And he actually was up this way looking at this um, old, I think at one point it was a hotel. I can't, of course I can't remember where it was, but it was mm. up this way. And actually the real estate agent who worked with him up here, he calls himself the Wolf of Woodstock. You've seen the billboards for that, I think, on 28. I don't know if you've ever yeah. noticed. Yeah. And yeah. he, I, he's like up here and actually we have a friend who worked for that real estate agency, but he doesn't anymore. I don't think, but I was like, um, if he has to have lunch with him again, like, can I, <laughs> can I come? I'll go and have lunch just to, just to look just for some looking. <laughs> okay. Um, I also loved when Giuseppe spoke Italian. Mm. I loved Ravi's neckerchief. I Good loved stuff. Carrie's line about Aiden practically humping Ravi. <laughs> oh, geez. So funny. Yeah. I have a lot of loves. I love the apartment that Carrie is looking at. And I think mm -hmm. buys in Gramercy. Oh, on the writer's room. The outside of it is like, is a real apartment, I believe. And it's in mm -hmm. Gramercy. Um, mm -hmm. And <clears throat> Michael Patrick King's like obsessed with this thing. He also liked that it's red brick because Virginia, the red brick and all. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I also liked Carrie's line. She said it's like two of her stuffed animals having sex. <laughs> talking about brady and <laughs> lily yeah that was funny um and then i also loved when carrie says to mark Sabian that she had a good marriage and it ended way too soon yes yeah. agreed okay what do you have i have for love the shout out to uh the burrata cheese i <laughs> I believe charlotte ordered the burrata cheese somebody had the burrata cheese and <laughs> I recently discovered burrata cheese when we were out to dinner with friends and um, I had never experienced it before. And I'm like, where has this, I felt like oh, I was I like living under a rock. It's like that creamy, yeah. Is it, it's like, a, it almost looks yeah. like mozzarella, but it's like yeah. this creamy thing that just like, and I, you know, I love cheese. It's like I have an obsession with cheese. What did I so think? I loved that. And I think I'd never um, heard of it. And I was like, what is this? I think I asked the waiter. Who was that? Yeah, I don't know. it was so good. Go out so much. I, yeah. Right. Um, and then I just wrote that I love the Michael Bublé at the end. Yes. And you know, I played that for the last episode by mistake when we, not last yeah. episode, last story and TikTok I did. I played that because that was in my head because we had mm -hmm. recorded and everything. And then I watched the new episode. I got mixed up. So there you go. Whoops. Um, <laughs> oh, I wanted to say too. When when she when Carrie does say that to Marcus Sabian, which honestly it took me a little bit to read to like process it mm -hmm. in the writers room podcast, they said that that was her way of like saying it wasn't a big mistake; it was just a thought she had had, you know, all that and blah blah blah. And this is saying no, mm -hmm. it wasn't so, which I was happy about. Okay, hate I hate Aiden's tidy whities I just that whole uh, I was like really. I mean, <laughs> I again right on the top of my hate list was. <laughs> Uh, I hate the white, the tidy whities Like, come on. And I remember that in the it made him the look original, older ugh. than he was. Like, he looks great. Like, but it just it's not flattering. Come on, give him on a anybody. Well, well maybe on day. some people. No, no. <laughs> but it's just so weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> I also hated Miranda pushing college on Brady. Mm. It made me annoyed. It's annoying. Anyway, okay. Which you're, uh... And I hated Carrie selling her apartment. Not here for that. I oh, like it. it didn't bother me. Actually, I actually it bothered me a lot. I'm like, no. I think it like bothers that. a lot of the fans, actually. <sighs> but I don't know. I don't know why it didn't bother me. I know. I mean, do you mean she like, doesn't need to sell out it. of it? Oh, she just keeping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She should well, keep it. I don't. don't think that why maybe she need she's to gonna it? have Lisette rent it. Like, wouldn't you think that when Lisette said? Oh, right, 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 right. That makes sense. But, yeah, of what That's she said. That's what I thought. Hopefully I didn't take it as. renting Sorry. it and not selling it. Then I'd be okay yeah. with it. But the fact she's like, I want to list the apartment. I'm like, no. Keep the apartment. Yeah. I know. I mean, just financially, <sighs> duh. I mean, come just on now. Nostalgic reasons, I if know. any. 
anything well, we'll else. We'll see what like, happens because we haven't watched Ooh. it, so she could screw up this whole thing. I well, I know she. I'm pretty sure she buys that other apartment, but I don't know. Okay, speech language analysis. Don't tell. What do I got here? Oh, I I said don't. Why do I have and and don't like? What was my first part? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. I'm up. I'm all for communication and honesty, mm-hmm. but don't tell a grown a woman not to hurt her ex husband. I thought that was ridiculous. Mm. And mm. don't tell your boyfriend's ex wife and mother of his children your plans to have her kids at your house without like talking to him first. That bothered me a lot. I was like, you shouldn't. I can. I mean, I was right like, into all for Carrie. What? You got the psych stuff? I could segue right into psych stuff with that. I have just what you're saying. Like, so I, first of all, you know, I'm not getting a good vibe on the whole, the kids thing and eight. So she's not dating Aiden, right? Yeah. She's dating Aiden divorced who has a family, right? He has three Mm -hmm. kids that are obviously his priority as they should be, Mm -hmm. right? Until they're 18 and out, those kids Mm -hmm. should be his priority. Mm-hmm. We can probably agree on that, right? Yeah. That's what should come first. And second yeah. would be his love life, right? Or whatever. Yeah. Because he does need to do whatever. But I'm like already, I'm like, mm, I don't, mm, this is Aiden yeah. with kids. And you're getting into this new relationship. And it's like, you guys are already like evolving into like a married mm-hmm. couple. And he mm-hmm. has kids. And I don't see this working out. I know. Because of that being that. like a big piece. and. I mean, really, second marriages will will say second marriages can work. Second marriages with kids can work, but statistically they don't, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, this is a show, so they're going to write yeah. it the way, whatever. But, um, you know, you have to work really hard if you're going to make it work mm-hmm. with kids, right? Yeah. How do you parent? Who's that? But the whole, like, inviting them and letting her, like, almost like, in, I don't want to say, in, am I saying ensuing? That she's going to like welcome them when they're, you know, I'm like, yeah, oh, she didn't even no, say no, 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 no. if that's okay. Like she, and she didn't even talk to Aiden about it. She no, hadn't even talked to Aiden about no, it. I, I was that like, is that something she should not have to said. To me, that would that. be way in the backseat. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't even be talking about no. your kids. You, no. you take, like, you have to take the, the person who has the children. You should be taking the lead from them. Yeah. Not trying to step in, like, make it like, I just, because I, I get where she she's coming that. from. But I was like, no, that but doesn't I, seem like actually, I was say. really surprised she said that. I yeah. just, I was like, what? Uh, yeah. No. Um, I mean, I also, again, that's, yeah. it just, I'm getting the sense that the kids are going to, it's going to clash. Something's well, going to happen. Especially Wyatt. The Wyatt. Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Well, that's where they're. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are and I'm definitely. not saying that they're married or anything, right? They're, and I'm not saying they're headed to to be a married couple. And I just bring that up because, like, these are things that you need to work out ahead of time with your partner, so that you do have you can beat the statistics, right? Like, you need to sort your stuff out <clears throat> before you get too comfortable and just, you know. Ooh. And it should be Aiden talking to his wife about the Correct. kids ever coming absolutely never absolutely. should have been her saying it no so i think in real, sure in a real situation <laughs> yeah and i think in a real situation no but and and honestly in a real situation like carrie's carrie and and what's her name should really be just developing a relationship yeah that is friendly so that they can communicate and be on the same page and they should have aid and should be part of that yes you know, well, yeah, I think, he, yeah, so that they can, you know, kind of like work all the adult stuff off. So everybody mm-hmm. out. So like everybody's comfortable, but in a show, in this show, just the way it sounds like, mm, yeah, yeah, guess what? Mm, I just, something's going to happen. With the kid. Mm-hmm. I can already tell. And like you said, with what's his name, Wyatt, yeah. Wyatt's going to put his foot down and Aiden's going to come running and he should obviously have yeah. thought about that before he got yeah. so. Mm-hmm you know, head over heels back mm-hmm. and like I'm here all the time and splitting my time and across states and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. all right, I'll stop. But no. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. No, that wasn't that good. Was tr- that's a tricky one. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. 
I didn't really have, you I don't know. Think, I don't think Carrie's going to break Aiden's heart. I think it's going to be the other way around. I think That's so, too. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. And I, I, for the record, I have not watched ahead. No, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Mm, all I know is I that. I think there'll be a cliffhanger, that, um, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sure there will be. And they were renewed, right? We heard that they were, yeah, renewed, they were renewed for a third season. So mm -hmm. more to come. Yeah. More to come. Maybe Burger will show up with post it. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, why not? I, let's just go through maybe, all the maybe, wait, wait, Burger will. Maybe he'll be her boyfriend, her new boyfriend. Yeah, right. Kathy's boyfriend. Because they're married in real life. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> oh, would that be something? That'd be great. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Yeah. I'm just, I keep something. trying to think if there was something that I learned from the podcast episode that we didn't talk about. I don't think so. I don't know if the kitten thing was funny. Um, I really liked, even though I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't mind it. Like I didn't mind the storyline with Lily and Brady. I liked Miranda and Charlotte, like mm -hmm. in cahoots and stuff. And how Charlotte yeah, that was, was like, cute. Brady's not Lily's type. <laughs> She's like, oh my she gosh. said like, <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, I will link this lady's, uh, woman's Please Instagram do. page to the description because she was uh she was fantastic. I just mm -hmm. yeah. I was like that's what I I was like goals. Hashtag goals that will never happen. <laughs> According to my husband, hey. I can just learn how to sew. I mean I know I could, but not awesome. like that. I just Added tried to, to cut board. a t shirt yesterday. I mean us with cutting things, I'm like as fast. Oh. So <laughs> yeah. Vision board. Yeah. Vision board. Singer okay. sewing machine. Add it. I don't have room for a sewing machine. Cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you probably have six of them. Probably. In Actually, some... probably. Yes. Somewhere. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we should look into that. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs>